All right, guys, welcome back to the Fire King a Snake Eyes Guide here. I will show you every important combo line with every important combo starter. You will have a lot of knowledge after this video. I'll show you everything that you need to know. In the end, there will be a deck list. I will go over every card name by name and will also tell you some important things. The first thing I want to show you is the 1.5 card combo with the Ulcanics. You will need another Fire Monster to destroy in order for this to work. I will show you this in a moment. This is very early on, so uh, you can play with the Ulcanics. I have three of them in the deck. This basically covers for minus one wanted and minus one ash, snake eye ash that is, uh, and you will also need to play the old Garoons, which is an ultra rare if you want to play the cool Karnix, but time will tell as how the best Fire King list will work out. This card is not even out in the TCG, it's only out in the OCG, so we have limited information on how effective this really is. We are going to normal summon Ulcanix, now Ulcanix wants to destroy a Fire Monster in our hand, we are going to destroy the Ash Blossom. Now we can search, in this case you want to search the Ponyx. If a monster that was originally Fire is being destroyed, we can now special summon the Ponyx. You can now also change Ulcanix's level to the level of the monster being destroyed. We don't want to do this, but we can activate our trigger Ponyx now. Ponyx, because a monster originally fire was destroyed, we can special summon the Ponyx, activate the Ponyx, and Ponyx is the searcher for all your Fire King spells, basically. You will search your Fire King Skyburn if you already have searched the other ones, but now we will search the Sanctuary. You always search the Sanctuary because the Sanctuary gives you the field spell. We are going to activate the Sanctuary. This uh, can now place the field spell from the deck on the field, so this is why you don't search the field spell. In addition, uh, the Sanctuary um, can protect the field spell once uh, from being destroyed by destroying one fire monster in hand or field. And then also if your opponent normal or special summons, you can on your opponent's turn XYZ summon uh, an XYZ monster with only fire king monsters. This is how you can get into your boss monster Grunix Eternity hanging off the fire kings in your opponent's turn. If this card is summoned, it can destroy all monsters on the field. So this can be a last interruption that you have on your opponent's turn. But I will show you this in another combo also. We have the fire king island this can destroy um, a monster in our hand or field and then we can search a fire king monster but you can also if you control no monsters special summon one fire wing piece monster from your hand you will normally only use the first effect sometimes the second one comes up one important thing is if this phase up card um, in the fields so in the central graveyard or vanish destroy all monsters you control so you can protect this with your sanctuary but keep in mind that destroying your own fire king monsters can also give you some upside because they have trigger effects in the grave but this is something to keep in mind sometimes the fire king island can backfire and one very effective way to play against fire king is using cosmic cyclones to destroy the island in this case we'll use the island's effect uh, using the first monster we can destroy one monster we are going to destroy the Ulcanix here because Ulcanix says if it gets destroyed so firstly we can add one of our fire king monsters to the hand this is basically always Garunix because Garunix is the core card of this deck and now we can activate the trigger effect of Ulcanix because Ulcanix says um, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard you can special summon one fire king high avatar Garunix and this is sacred fire king high avatar Garunix or sacred fire king Garunix so not the same one we are going to trigger this and then we can also trigger our Garunix Garunix because a monster that was originally fire is destroyed same as with the Ponyx we are now able to summon the Garunix to the field. One thing to keep in mind here is the um, so-called um, Green Baboon ruling, which says that, let's for example say we had the, the Sacred Fire King Garunix in our graveyard. This card says, if your monster that was originally fire is destroyed by bad luck card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when the monster was destroyed, or from the hand. In this case, we have summoned this from the hand, but you can also summon this from the graveyard. This is very important also. Let's for example say we have destroyed a monster that was originally fire. Let's say the Ash Blossom. And we have a Ponyx in the hand and the Garunix in the grave. Now we can, in theory, summon the Ponyx from the hand because a monster originally fire was destroyed and we can summon the Garunix from the grave. The Green Baboon ruling, which is a ruling that was introduced to the game because of the card Green Baboon, says that you can only summon one of these monsters in one chain. So you can't, keep this in mind, this is very important, you can't, if you destroy a fire monster and have Garunix here and Ponyx, for example, here, you can't summon both. You have to decide for one of them, right? So now we will summon the old G Fire King Avatar Garunix, which this is only a body. This is very important. Only a body. You also want to get this um, off the field. We will link this away in a moment. And now we can activate Sacred Fire King Garunix's special normal summon effect. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can destroy one Fire Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast. This is why this also works with Tri Brigade. There will be a Tri Brigade video up in up tomorrow, I guess. Um, in your hand, you can destroy them in your hand, deck, or face up field, except this one. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to half the destroyed monster's attack if it had, uh, it had there until the end of this turn. This can be very relevant for killing your opponent, by the way. So we are going to activate. Normally, you will always destroy from the deck here. Um, there are a few different ways you can approach this. 
If, for example, you want to clear something or destroy something on your opponent's board, you will use the Kirin here because Kirin can, if it gets destroyed, resummon a Fire King monster from either your grave or your hand and then non-targeting to des destroy one card on the field. If you want to destroy something, you would go for this one. But in this case, we will go for the Avatar Avata, which is the monster negate of the archetype. We will destroy this. It goes to the grave. And now it has basically the same effect as the Kirin. This can revive something from the graveyard, but it has no effects and it will be destroyed in the end phase, which is not a problem because we will use it as link material. We have one Fire King card here, so the Volcanix, we were going to resummon this. So this is the basic rule, just to tell you this. If you want to destroy something on your opponent's field, you will send a Kirin with this one. And if you just want to revive something, um, then you want to send the Avatar, because Avatar, you also want to get back from the graveyard to the field, with you, Kirin, but I will show you that in another combo, then you will understand. So now we have four bodies on the field. The next thing we are going uh, to do is we get the Garunix back in the grave. You always want Garunix back in the grave, and then also the Ulcanix here, because Ulcanix would be destroyed in the end phase. You want Garunix in your grave because, remember, when a monster originally fire is destroyed, this can be resummoned, and if this summons to the field, then you can destroy a Kirin from the deck, and then Kirin can revive, for example, the monster negate and destroy a card on your opponent's field. So this is an interruption on your opponent's turn that you can, for example, trigger with your Promethean Princess by destroying one of your own fire monsters. Then what we can do here is make a Linkoribo because we just want to make or have Linkoribo in the grave. It's just a strong card that helps us on our opponent's turn. And then we are making a Promethean Princess out of these two here. And you might be wondering, okay, we have the IP Mascarina here. You might know this line from the basic Snake Eyes line that we normally use our Snake Eyes Flamme Birch Dragon to set this in the spell trap zone, which we will not be able to do right here, but I will show you how this works in a moment. We are going to revive, in this case, the Avatar Avatar. This is a monster negate, keep this in mind. So we have a monster negate now live. In order for this to monster negate, this will need to destroy a fire monster either on the field or in the hand, keep this in mind. But you might now see how the 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 combos of this deck work because if for example you use the fire king avatar to destroy something a fire monster then this will trigger your garunix in the graveyard which will then come back to destroy a kirin which then can resummon for example the pornix or the ulcanix and destroy something right so the last thing that we have to do here is make i uh, get the, the princess in the grave and also get this one um, off the field we are going to go into an amble whale here and this might not look like much but it actually is so let's just pass over to our opponent to see what we can do here so let's see what our opponent does here. Hopefully he does a special summon or a monster effect activation. Otherwise I have to explain to you what we in theory want to do here. So he summons a monster, unfortunately. There's a monster effect. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, monster effect here. So let's first uh, look uh, at our graveyard, right? So we have a Promethean Princess. You know the Promethean Princess interruption. Uh, the card that you want to destroy is your Emblow Whale because if Emblow Whale, if this card is destroyed, you can target one Link 3 or lower monster in either graveyard special summon it. This gives us the ability to revive our IP Mascarina, which is also why we don't really want to destroy our Emblow Whale with a Princess because if you do that, then you are firelocked with the Princess, can't go to your IP Mascarina. What you want to do is do it like this. We have a monster effect activation here now we can use our avatar to negate this monster effect and we want to destroy our emblem whale here so we are now have to destroy a fire monster in hand or field we destroy the emblem whale this is negated and now we have two triggers the grunix because a monster originally fire was destroyed and the swarm shift emblem whale emblem whale can now resummon the ip mascarina and let's say we also want to trigger the grunix so that you understand what the grunix can do so now we are going to resummon the grunix here and the ip mascarina Garunix trigger effect is now live that because normal or special summon we can destroy a winged beast, beast or beast warrior monster in hand, field or um, in the deck. We are going to destroy an avatar Kirin now. Kirin was destroyed so it can now activate to summon a fire king monster either from our hand or from the graveyard. Let's get the Ponix for follow up here. We are going to summon the Ponix and now we can destroy a card on the, on the field non-targeting. Let's say we want to do this, destroy this one. And obviously we also have the Ponix now to search as follow-up in the form of the Fire King Skyburn, which you don't need to play this follow-up, but you can this card if you are not aware. In my opinion, the best uh, quick play spell target an equal number of Fire King monsters you control and cards your opponent controls, destroy them. And obviously, um, you destroying your own Fire King cards once again triggers your Garunix, which then once again is able to destroy a Kirin. This is why you might want to run three Kirins. I want to run two because I don't want to brick on the card 
card, but you can definitely argue. Now we have uh, more interruptions left in the graveyard. The princess to destroy another fire monster and be resummoned. But before you resummon the princess, keep in mind that you want to use your IP Mascarina. You can now go ahead and make an upper loser here. Let's just, because I think our opponent won't special summon. So we could now make either the Esper Little Knight or the upper loser, obviously. Keep in mind that if I make the upper loser like this now, I don't have a target for my princess. I just wanted to do a link summon here. But you can obviously also make an SP or just the upper loser with three materials and keep a fire monster on the field so that you also have your princess interruption. These are all the interruptions that you have. And then you have also searched some follow up with your ponics. Also, you will be able um, to use your Viking Island next turn to get more follow up. The unfortunate thing here in comparison to the Snake Eyes base combo is that you don't have follow up via your Flamberge Dragon because with the Ulcanix normal summon, we won't have access to our Snake Eyes line. But I will show you a combo next, the full Snake Eyes Ash combo, where you will have access to both engines. All right, let me show you the strongest combo that you can do with the Snake Eye Ash, Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash, uh, which are eight interruptions here. We can go search Snake Eye Ash. Let's imagine we have it in the hand. We go Summon Snake Eye Ash. Then you want to add the Poplar as basically always. Um, yeah, we are going to summon the Poplar. We only have one target in the deck. We don't play the Temple here because it's not pure Snake Eyes. You can play the Temple if you want to, but we don't. We add the OSS. Then we are going to go Snake Eye Ash, send away the Poplar to get our Oaky Oak the Oki, and then Oak is one to reborn the whatever, let's say the Ash, and then Poplar two to set to the spell trap the other one, right? Don't misclick here, otherwise you don't get both of them back to the field. So we're going to get this here and then get uh, the Snake Eye Ash here. Next thing we are going to do is use the Oak, send away the Poplar to get to our Flumberge Dragon. And Flamberging is used a bit differently in the Fire King version than in the pure Snake Eye version. We will use it now here to get this back to the field so we can use it as a getaway for our OSS. This is, by the way, the card that always gets you into your Fire King engine if you start with your Snake Eyes engine. So this is why it's more important here than in the Snake Eyes deck. I'm going to add the Sanctuary as always. If you already have the Field spell, you can also add the Quick Play spell if you want to. Going to set the, um, the Field spell here to the field. And now we are going to do a little Chimera, which is a very, very interesting card. One thing to keep in mind here is this combo also plays around in Nibiru because we will keep this Flamberge Dragon on the field until we have a negate for the Nibiru because if he Nibiru's us at any point here we still have the Flamberge Dragon which can revive two level one bodies which we have in the grave and they can go into a princess can go into an Ambler Whale and you end up with uh, interruptions on your board even though you have gotten Nibiru. The dual Chimera is also Beast, uh, Link and uh, Fire Monster. We are now going to use the island now to destroy the Chimera. Um, destroy it and then we add obviously the Garunix as always basically. The Chimera can now trigger because it if this card is destroyed by bad luck card effect you can target one fire monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. We are going to add the Ponix here and then we have the trigger effect of Garunix because a monster originally fire was destroyed we could special summon Garunix. We are going to do that, special summon the Garunix and now the Ponix comes back and we get Garunix's trigger effect. Once again, if there's a card you want to destroy on your opponent's board, then use the Kirin, otherwise use the um, Avata Avata. For this case, we need to use the Avata Avata because we need to revive something special here. Avata Avata, I told you this is a bit different, can revive one Fire Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast Monster. These are basically always Fire King monsters, but it can also revive the Dual Little Chimera here. So we revive Dual Little Chimera, also have the trigger effect of Ponix because we have destroyed the Avata. This can now special summon, which gives us an additional body. Very nice here. So we get back this uh, link to do a little chimera and then also our Ponyx. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to make the Promethean Princess. You can use this one and this one. And keep in mind, we still are not safe from Nibiru. This is why we still have our Flamberge Dragon on the field. Now we will be safe because we use Princess to revive Avatar, which is a monster negate. So now we are safe from Nip. Now we can use our Flamebird Dragon. This is what we are going to do. Get this one and this one to the grave and make a an Sunlight Wolf, which is very important in this specific deck. You are going to go revive two level one bodies, does not really matter which ones. Uh, what is very important here is that you use the Garunix for something uh, special. We can now activate this one to grab back our Flamberge Dragon and um, 
we want to grab back our Flamberge Dragon because we can destroy it, for example, with the Avatar Avatar's Monster Negate effect. And if we destroy it, we get follow up because we can resummon these bodies, right? In the Snake Eyes version, you have the Flamberge Dragon on the field. Here, you will normally have it in the hand to be destroyed with, for example, your Avatar Avatar. Now we make a Linko Rebo. We always want a Linko Rebo, but we want to make a special card here. Go Linko Rebo. And uh, now we can make a Deku Talker Heat Soul, which we can also keep on our field. Very, very nice here. Make the Heat Soul, and um, if you have more hand traps in your deck, this is even better. We go pay a thousand, draw a card, very nice Maxi, and then you use these two remaining monsters to make an IP Mascarina. This will be our end board, and now let's go over what we basically have here. You can pass over to your opponent, make a draw one with the Deku Talker Heat Soul. We have the IP Mascarina to go into an SP Little Knight or uh, into an Apollosa. We have our Monster Negate Avatar that can also destroy with its effect the Flame Birch in the hand to resummon two level one bodies, which also give you follow up, which also can be used for an Apollosa. We have in the grave the Promethean Princess that can destroy any of our fires and then be resummoned, destroy uh, one of our opponent's cards. And if a fire monster, an original fire monster, gets destroyed. We also have the Garunix that will come back to the field. You can then destroy a High Avatar Kirin from your deck, resummon, I don't know, maybe the Ponyx, maybe the Avatar if it's already in the grave, resummon it and destroy a card on your opponent's field non-targeting. So these are all the interruptions that you have. We can quickly pass over to our opponent. Maybe he gives us something here and I can show you this. We are going to activate Deco Talker. Draw another hand trap. Why not, right? And let's see what our opponent does here. <laughs> not, not guaranteed that he will activate an effect. It's before the end of the main phase. He just passes over all battles, okay. But you know uh, what I am getting at here. These are the interruptions that you have. Eight interruptions in total if you count Appaloosa with four materials. Keep in mind that if you go for your Promethean Princess early, you will lock yourself. So always, if you, for example, your opponent special summons a monster and you go Promethean Princess, target the Deco Talker and his monster, then chain your IP Mascarina because this is the last point at which you can use Mascarina to go either into Appaloosa or SP Little Knight. But you can also do if you have destroyed your Flame Birch Dragon with, for example, your Avatar Avatar and have the level 1 bodies on the field, you can always go Linko Rebo to be protected from one attacking monster for in the battle phase because you can make the monster gain zero attack. So if, for example, your opponent has a Diabellstar, 2-5 attack, you have an Appaloosa that can be destroyed by the Diabellstar and you have one of your level 1 bodies and your opponent goes to battle phase to run over your Appaloosa, you can just go Linko Rebo and then the Appaloosa, uh, the Diabellstar will get zero attack and you can protect your Apollosa. Let's go to the next combo line where I will show you what we will do if you have the Diabellstar. All right, the next line I will show you is if you have the Diabellstar and a discard here, we will go Diabellstar. In this case, we can discard Garunix. It's always nice to discard Garunix because it can be resummoned from the graveyard. Uh, so it's a free discard here. We have to search it later on in the combo, but I will explain you uh, where the moment is where we basically would search the Garunix, but we have it in the graveyard now. Go activate OSS. And the cool thing with the Diabellstar is that we can now special summon the Ash and can search the Ponix because we can still normal summon the Ponix because we have not used our normal summon. If you start with Poplar, you will use your normal summon, unfortunately, which is why the Poplar line, even though it's a bit like the Diabell style by searching the OSS, is just worse. Going uh, Fire King Ponyx here, you know the drill. We are going to add the Fire King Sanctuary here. Sanctuary activate to uh, place onto our field the island. And uh, what we can now do, we now want to our Garunix here, so we destroy our Ponyx. Here you would search Garunix. We have it in Grave already, keep this in mind. So let's say we search another Ulcanix. You would not search Ulcanix here if you had Garunix already in Grave, but I want to show you the, the uh, original line. We go summon the Garunix here, and then Garunix effect. In this case, we are going to destroy our Kirin because we need to add him back to our hand to use him next turn for something. I will show you. Uh, we can now resummon, it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, we would normally resummon the Ponyx here. And we don't want to destroy anything. The next thing uh, we are going to do here is send away um, uh, these two here for our uh, Flamberge Dragon. Uh, we are unfortunately not safe for Nibiru um, in this combo. It's just how it is. Uh, then we are going to make uh, the Sunlight Wolf here. And now we can trigger our Flamberge, getting us back our level 1 bodies here. One under the Sunlight Wolf, that's important, and then like this. And now we're going to add back our Kirin. Also nice to add back the Flamberge, but in this combo we can't, unfortunately. We will use the, need the Kirin in a moment here. We can make a Link Rebo here now, and, and then we are going to make a Promethean Princess with this one and this one. 
Promethean Princess here. The Promethean Princess can now go ahead and revive the Sunlightiest of Wolves. And now we see where we will get from here because we go Sunlight Wolf to make uh, the Dikutoka Heat Soul here, drawing us an additional card, hopefully an interruption. And then we will go ahead and make an Emblem Whale out of these two here. Oops. No, no, it doesn't matter. The other one is also a link free, but yeah, okay. This one, this one. Make the Emblem Whale. And now we are going to pass. And you might think, okay, what's going on here? Uh, but I will show you why we have done it like this. So he summons, let's say, we want to activate our combo stuff. Now we are going to destroy with our Kirin uh, quick effect main phase in the hand, our Emblem Whale. Kirin will now summon. And now we have multiple triggers. We can go Emblem Whale to revive our Dikotoka He Soul. And then we can also go Garunix at this point if we want to. This line basically gives us access to our boss monster also. We will see this in a moment, maybe, but our one will probably not summon again. Obviously, put this on on here. Now comes the heat. So we still have the Promethean Princesses and Disruption in the grave. We can now go Garunix and uh, you would now destroy um, another Kirin here. Then Kirin can be uh, activated to summon back the Ponyx to get us a follow-up card. Uh, and we can destroy a card on the field. And now we can obviously uh, go Ponyx follow-up and also Deco Talker for another follow-up. Now we also have the ability to get, uh, bring Linguribu to the field and we still have our Promethean Princess interruption in the grave, right? And this can search follow-up now, so a lot of hand cards that we have here. Let's see whether our opponent is able to special summon something. Okay, he doesn't. But what you can now also do, I think he will just pass over to us. Uh, unfortunately, but what you can do if our opponent normal or special summons again, you can activate Sanctuary and uh, just make your boss monster Garunix Eternity with these two here and this will blow up the entire field. You will get the Ponyx back because if it gets destroyed, you get it back during the next standby phase. But you can clear the entire monster board and your own as well um, if your opponent normal or special summons with your boss monster here in your extra deck because you have Kirin and Garunix that can make it basically. The next combo line I will show you is if you only have the Poplar. Okay, let's look at the Poplar only version. This works because we have a bonfire here. Um, we will search the Poplar. Normally you would obviously search Snake Ash, but let's search Poplar. Uh, important to keep in mind for this combo line is that <clears throat> this combo line basically, we are assuming that we have to normal summon Poplar, right? So we still have a normal summon, which makes this specific combo here way better because we have an Oak, but we will just imagine we had normal summoned the Poplar, right? And now just to, to say this, right? There are two different lines you can go into. You can go the Fire King line or you can go the normal Snake Ice line. The normal Snake Ice line would mean that you would go Linko Rebo, take like this so we will eat, we'll do with this anyway you will go linko ribo put this in the spell trap and then you would use your original simple spoils to summon the oak get to a flame bird dragon you, you know the combo it's the basic snake eyes combo that you can do with poplar which in my opinion is the better line but i will show you here because this is the fire king snake eye version the fire king line right you can also go for this one i think the other one is better you send away the poplar obviously for our ponyx here which makes sense we need to get access to our fire king line here um, then we go Ponyx, you know the drill, uh, at the Sanctuary, Sanctuarium, and activate this to place the field spell. Then we are going to activate this, and obviously we are assuming we only have the Ponyx here. Destroy the Ponyx to get our Garunix. This is uh, like it always is. Mm, uh, get the Garunix to the field. Activate Garunix, destroy the Avatar, because we don't need to destroy something here, and we also don't need our Kirin in the hand. Resummon back the thing, and then we can go into our Paromethian Princess. Let me think about this. We would make an IP Mascarina first, sorry. Uh, make the IP Mascarina here, and then we would go into the Princess. Keep in mind that you can always revive the IP Mascarina, uh, Mascarina either with your Flame Burge if you keep it on the field or with your Emblem Whale if you destroy the Emblem Whale. And then we can... It doesn't really matter because we need to get rid of this. Unfortunately, we can't keep this on the field. We could if we now normal summon the Oak, which is not part of the combo. Now we can go into an Emblem Whale. The unfortunate thing now is, so what we basically have here is uh, the access to our Fire King line, right? Because we pass over to our opponent, if our opponent special summons, we can go Princess, destroy Emblem Whale. Uh, Emblem Whale could then resummon the IP Mascarina, but keep in mind that because we have used our Promethean Princess, we will be locked with the IP Mascarina. So you could also go for the Linko Rebo to have protection, but this is also in the grave for potential follow-up in a future turn, right? So then we go use Promethean Princess on our Emblem Whale, destroy the Emblem Whale, and then we can summon the Garunix. Garunix can then destroy Kirin, and because we 
with the avatar in the grave, we can resummon the avatar, destroy something on our opponent's field, and then have a fire monster life. So what you can actually do here is the following. Unfortunately, our opponent will not special summon probably. We can pass over and take a look. Um, unfortunately, the bot never does. He just goes normal summon like crazy. Let's see. There's a normal summon. Yeah. Okay. But what you could have done here is the following line. Let's say he special summons. I go Promethean Princess, destroy my Swarm Shift Emblow Whale, and Emblow Whale revives the Mascarina. Then I have Mascarina and Promethean Princess and can't use Mascarina. But I will also have Garunix effect. Garunix will destroy Kirin. Kirin will revive the Avatar Avatar, which is a monster negate. And then if our opponent activates a monster effect, we can use Avatar to destroy our own Promethean Princess on the field. And then our IP Mascarina would once again be live to make, in this case, an SP Little Knight, right? This is the interruptions that you have. Or you can go, as I already said, in the basic Snake Eyes combo with Poplar, um, that in my opinion is better, and I will show you in the next replay. Okay, let's go basic Snake Eyes Poplar combo here. You can also look at this, or look this up in the other videos, but I will show it to you here now because I think this is the superior version that you should go for instead of the version I showed you um, just now. Here we go, Poplar. So once again, we are assuming that we have normal summon the Poplar, right? because this is actually important. Then, um, same as in the last thingy, we go take the Poplar, Lingoribo. By the way, I will not make a combo for only having uh, a Fire King Ponyx, because Ponyx is just a super bad normal summon. If this is the only normal summon you have, Ponyx, then you should go and use the Ponyx, um, but you will only end up on, a, I think, a Runix on the field. It's very bad, but you obviously should still activate the Ponyx, but this is not a good normal summon, so I'm not, I'm not going over this. We are not using the version with Fire King, so we are using the Pure Snake version. This says that you get the oak, resummon the poplar to the field, then you send away the oak and the link Uribo for your flame bird dragon. You might know this line, might already done this. If you have played pure snake eye, you definitely know it. And then the next thing we are going to do is make the IP Mascarina. Going to revive our normal bodies. Here and here. Going to make Promethean Princess. Revive Flame Bird Dragon. Then we go Flame Bird Dragon, set the IP. And just make, in this case, we can make the Emblem Whale. Um, in the pure version, you might only have the Raging Phoenix. And make this one, and this is our end board. I think this is better because this is the same as the Fire King version, minus the potential monster negate that you can get. Um, but this is way less susceptible to something like a called by because in the Fire King version, you need to Promethe and Princess to, get, to go through, otherwise, you will not get all the other stuff. And in this version, you also have your Flame Bird Dragon for follow up. So I think this is the better version, in my opinion. This also makes it easier to make an Appaloosa. Making an Appaloosa with the other combo board is actually not possible. Um, so, in my opinion, this is the better version but you can argue about this. Obviously, we now have the Fire King Island uh, Sanctuary in the hand, so we could continue our place, but we are just assuming that we don't have it in the hand. In my opinion, the better version, but obviously you can decide for yourself. And now we will hop over into the deck list, all the cards and a little bit of explanation. All right, guys, here's the deck list that you can copy. I will first go over every card name by name and then talk about a few of the ratios. We have one Effect Veiler, one Snake Eye Ash, one Oak, one Legendary Fire King Ponyx, two Snake Eyes Poplar, three Maxi, three Ash Blossom, one Fire King Avatar Avatar, three Fire King Kutia Orcanix, three Black Witch, one Fire King High Avatar Garunix, one Snake Eyes from Birch Dragon, one Sacred Fire King Garunix, two High Avatar Kirin, one Primal Being, one One for One, three Bonfire, one Original Sinful Spoils, one Fire King Island, one Sanctuary, two Called by, one Crossout, one 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 Fire King Skyburn, three Imperm, one Fire King Hyang of the something Eternity Garunix, one Link Uribo, one Dual Little Chimera, one Salaman Get Sunlight Wolf, one Hita, one IP Mascarina, one Dark, one SP, one Selene to go into your Appaloosa more easily, one Deco Toka Heat Soul, one Promethean Princess, one Amphibious Swarm Shift, Amber Whale, one Appaloosa, one Zealantis, and one Raging Phoenix for the kill combo, basically, you know it already. Um, okay, now about some ratios. You don't need to play three Olcanics, you can only play two if you want to, you don't even need to play any 
many Ulcanixes if you don't want to, but then also put this one out. So if you want to play Ulcanix, you will also need this one because this one is summoned by the Ulcanix. I think three Ulcanix or maybe two Ulcanix is nice because this is a new and additional normal summon that makes this deck more consistent because we only have one Wanted and one Snake Eye Ash now. So I think this is, makes a lot of sense. If you don't want to play it, you can also put in hand traps, more hand traps, because you will draw into hand traps from the Deco Talker Heat Soul. I would suggest putting something like Drawn and Lockbirds in or more Effect Veilers because you can also draw them on your opponent's turn with the Heat Soul and then they are useful, right? Uh, when it comes, you could also, for the, by the way, play um, an, an additional Poplar if you want an additional Normal Summon, but I think Normal Summon Ulcanix is better than Normal Summon Poplar. You have seen the lines, but you can decide this for yourself. This is also only Super Rare, by the way. Uh, everything else here makes sense. Um, the hand traps, you can obviously go for whatever you want, but I think it makes sense to have hand traps that uh, you can also use in your opponent's turn, like a nip, like an effect Vader, because you will often, you have seen this, go for the Heat Soul in my version, basically, and then drawing a hand trap that you can also use. So, for example, an Imperm you wouldn't be able to use on your opponent's turn because you have something on your field. So I like to go for hand traps that you can still use on your opponent's turn. Um, you can also, if you want to, play the other Fire King Negate, the Spell and Trap Negate. I would definitely not um, suggest this, but you can do it. You can also, uh, but you have to you have to play this one, right? You can also play this one. You can also play a Barong, uh, which is, where is the Barongi? Yeah, this one. Uh, you can also play Borong if you destroy Borong, for example, with the Garunix. This can, in the next step uh, phase, search a Falcon card. This is nice because this can search a Kirin, which can be very great. But normally with your Garunix, you will either destroy Kirin or Avata Avata. So it doesn't really fit here. You always want to destroy something else, in my opinion. Triple Diabellstar is a no-brainer. You only need one Flame Burge Dragon. You can play the Temple if you want to, the Snake Eyes Temple, but then it becomes a bit more complicated. You will have to play the Temple first, because if you play the Fire King Island first and then go Temple, you destroy your island, and then the island destroys your entire field. Um, we have an Ibiru. I think it's always nice to have an Ibiru if you have Triple Maxi here. One for one, definitely nice uh, to get into any of your starters. A more consistency. You need three Bonfire, no doubt about that. One OSS is, is, is fine. You don't need more. A two Cold by one Crossword, no brainer. The Wanted is a no brainer. Uh, you don't need to play the Skyburn. You could all also play the Circle of the Fire Kings, but you can also not play any of these um, and play an additional hand trap. This is just that you have some follow-up to search with the Fire King Ponyx. It's also a nice card that can, by the way, also dodge something. So if you want to, or if you activate your Ponyx and your opponent negates it or tries to negate it, you can, with an Infinite Impermanence, for example, you could go Skyburn, destroy your Ponyx, and then dodge the card, right? And then free Imperms, which is a no-brainer. I would suggest going for the Doodle Little Camera because you have seen how strong the combo can be with her. And then, once again, you don't need to play Garunix Eternity, and by the way, I should put in my, my Royal Finish one that I did not need to decraft. You don't need this card at all. You can play without it. In some combo lamps, you will have access to this, but honestly, if you play it, you should probably also play a third Kirin. This is the most debatable part here, playing two or three Kirins. Um, I think two is fine. You don't want to brick on this card. This card is very nice in dodging stuff when you have your Snake Eye Ash, Oak, Poplar, Ponyx. You can destroy them, dodge an Imperm, dodge a Veiler. This is very, very strong. But then again, I don't want to brick on this, and rarely ever will you have to activate, or will you activate three Garunixes in three turns to destroy three Kirins uh, for the Kirin effect. So I don't really think that you need three, but this is my personal opinion. You can definitely go and play three. In the pure version, you would definitely play three. This is all I think that you have to know uh, about the deck. I hope you have a lot of fun. I really love this deck. This is probably my most favorite deck of all time. I really love the deck. It's so cool. The Fire King cards are so amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have I missed anything? Have you any more questions? Let me know in the comments. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, hitting a thumbs up and the notification bell, and we will see each other in the next one.